The Rocky Mountains provide the backdrop in Boulder, Colorado, and if you're looking for the Buffaloes, they ain't hard to find. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see, the number 23 team in the country, the Miami Hurricanes, taking on a team from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollack and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The Buffaloes will kick it off to get us underway. He'll bring it out. It's Restrepo. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. So Miami's offense is going to be backed up thanks to that lackluster return. Here he comes. And any time this guy touches the ball, and he will touch it plenty, a bolt of electricity just goes through the stadium, David. And uh, they'll feature him. They'll give him the ball, like you said, a lot early, often. And he's a guy that can make game-breaking plays. The offense is built around his ability to run the football, Jesse, make big plays for this offense. Yeah, he really shoulders the load, right, in more ways than one. The offense goes as this guy goes. So it's going to be important in this one. They get him going early and often. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Hand off from the gun. Shakes off the defender. And he is brought down, but what a move he put on that first defender. This running back in the Miami backfield is deadly because of his speed. He's so elusive. You get the feeling like he could score any single time he has the ball. He gives the offense a lot of balance, but he gives them that home run ability, too. The Hurricanes have it with a first and ten. Looking for room. It's Fletcher. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, he was trying to do it all by himself at the end of the day as a tackle for uh, I mean, the number of tackles he broke at some point, somebody's got to get blocked to help the guy out a little bit. Man, the defense was like a bunch of zombies on that last play. They just would not stop chasing that ball carry. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They'll run it on the counter. Low man wins, and he just smashed it. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But you got to do a great job game tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Grabbed over the middle. It's Martinez. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. It's first and 10 from the 44-yard line. They go to the ground. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. To throw, it's Ward. Fires left. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. Well, it's a nice job snagging that pass. Miami has a tradition of Heisman Trophy quarterbacks. I get that, but guess what? If you're going to win Heisman Trophies, you're probably throwing to very talented wide receivers. Let's not forget about all the great receivers the Hurricanes have had as well. And they've got a special group this year. This guy right here is one of those dudes. He can beat you one-on-one -on -one with his speed, and he has really, really good hands as well. Got to like that big, reliable security blanket. And that's what tight ends are a lot of the times. They're just... Usually big, huge guys that if I throw it anywhere near him, he's going to pluck it 
catch it and give me some positive yards. Went to the running game on first down, now second down. The gift to the back. Able to move it ahead a couple of yards, he gets it down to the 20. Ball is at the 20. They'll try to convert this third and short. From the red zone, it's Martinez. Really tough run there. He got four. That'll leave him a yard short on fourth down. No hesitation at all. The offense stays on the field. They'll go for it. They'll run for it on fourth down. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on down. So Colorado's offense will go to work for the first time. One thing to watch, can this guy get in the quarterback's head and make him take a peek at the rush, David? Dang, Skippy, that's what you want to do. You want to make this guy a little bit more human and not as much of a game-breaker at the quarterback spot? Get some pressure on him. Hit him a few times. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the country, but he can't hurt you if he's laying on his back. And this defensive end can put him there often. And the Buffaloes want to move quickly. Grabbed behind the line. It's Hunter. Not difficult, not complicated, but early in the game, get in that rhythm. Find that timing through wide receiver so you're set up for success. Then you go attack deep later on. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Looking to throw, it's Sanders. That was almost picked off, and what a disaster that would have been to throw a pick on the opening drive. Instead, it's fourth down. Oh, and you'd love to have that play back if you're that defender. Third down, and you almost pick that off. That's a catch you need to make. If he catches that, that might be pick six. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. They'll turn to Martinez. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. They'll run it from the gun. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also OK with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Come to the line at the 42, facing a third and short. They'll try to get the first through the air. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. The Canes will send out the punt unit. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Bringing it back, it's Horn. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. They knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. Really nice first down run. And you're seeing why this running back is an every down type back. He can run between the tackles. He can run outside. He can catch the football. He can block. This guy can do it all. And the Buffaloes want to crank the tempo.
Fast motion from the offense. Right back to the well. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Well, they're trying to run the football there. Just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. Moving quickly, trying to rattle the D. Back to pass, it's Sanders. Pass on the way, it's kicked off! Takes it the other way. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Kays! And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. This D gave them exactly what they needed, not only with a stop, but with a touchdown. Yeah, and finding ways to impact the game early in the game, just make impact plays, right? The defense wants to create sacks, create turnovers. Great job creating the turnover and getting points off of it. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Final play of the quarter coming. Off the play fake on first down. The throw. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. And the pass is incomplete, and that's how the first quarter comes to a close. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Miami is on top. We've played one. Before we move on, let's have a look at the stats. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. He lets one fly deep. Snatches it on the run. What a play to get it inside the red zone, and they are set up at the 17. I love when you back the defense off. If you want to get aggressive, I'll take shots down the field, make the defense play more concerned, and now what? Now you're in the red zone with a chance to get some points. The Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. From the red zone, looking for a man. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Bucks! And what did I start for this offense? The throw game getting working getting the touchdown pass, this quarterback getting a little bit of confidence, this passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Lining up for the PAT. And it's up and good. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. He'll start the return inside his five. And the returner will be brought down. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. Last time, David, it was one, two, three kick. 
The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Back to pass. It's Ward. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. That was a nice pickup, running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field, and you saw that right there. They'll run it to the right. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Got his man quickly. Tackled at the 43 after picking up 10. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get the ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast, low. And the offensive linemen, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. Quickly complete. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. This slot receiver gives defensive coordinators nightmares. You have got to double him virtually on every pass play. He better have safety help over top. Otherwise, this guy's a threat to score every time they throw the ball. On the move, it's Ward. Going to take a shot. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. And the Canes will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Running hard and getting six yards out to the 26. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. And the Buffaloes headed quickly to the line. On the ground, it's Hayden. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Caught over the middle. It's Moore. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. They'll put the tight end in motion. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. 
after picking up a couple at second and eight. Give to the back. Got enough for the first down and wants more. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. And the Buffaloes have this offense rolling. They move the tight end all over. On the ground, it's Hayden. And now on second down for this offense. Now he's looking to throw it. Got the quick pass. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. Dropping back, it's Sanders. He's got his man. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Great job by the offense being patient, understanding when they're in zone coverage, I got to hit those tight windows, make those precise passes to get those big plays. The Buffaloes will line it up on first and ten. They'll throw it from the red zone. Give him six. Touchdown, Buffaloes! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they close the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. The kickoff unit about to go to work. Here's the return from inside his 10. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. Fires to the middle. And it's picked off. Got some room to run. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Well, that snow's coming down. It's even thicker than rain. It just affects the football. You can't get as much juice on it. And you could tell the QB couldn't get it to the wide receiver where he wanted to. And the defender made a beautiful play. A first down for the offense. Looking to move it through the air. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. We're only in the first half already. This guy's got two TD passes. So you could see the defensive coaching staff on the sideline telling this D-line, guys, we got to get after this guy. We have to affect his rhythm and not let him be so comfortable back there. Right there, they were able to get after him. Let's see if they can keep it up. Wide out in motion. Dropping back, it's Sanders. And he feels the heat coming, and it burns him up. Another sack. How about that Mike linebacker bringing the heat right up the middle? Right down Broadway, right in the middle of the defense. This is the guy that sees everything, makes all the calls, and you could tell he knew where he was coming downhill. It came wide open, and he comes to the quarterback and gets the sack. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, he'll need to push it downfield. Throws toward the end zone. 
And it's caught! Touchdown, Colorado! How about that quarterback taking the shot downfield and delivering to the wide open receiver? I love this quarterback, Reese, because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon and that arm talent. He showed it to all of us right there. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point puts them on top 21 to 7. Quick strike offense on that three play scoring drive. And they close the deal from 43 yards out with a touchdown pass. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. Now you find out just how much of a gunslinger you are. Will you roll the dice here late in the half, David? And you know the defense is going to be really, really conservative, so I think it's an opportunity to be able to take a shot, see how much of a chunk you can get before then you decide really, Jesse, how you want to finish the half. You just can't turn it over and throw a pick if you're the quarterback here. You have got to be so smart. If you're going to be aggressive with your decision making. The pass falls incomplete, and that's how we'll finish this half. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, yeoman's work so far today in Boulder, and welcome in to the halftime update. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to the guys more than a mile above sea level at Folsom Field. Looks as if we're set to crank it up here in the second half. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. First play from scrimmage, and they'll keep it on the ground. Got room at the 35. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And busting big runs like this, we always talk about the running backs, but it's the big boys up front paving their lanes, those receivers gluing on those DBs that make these plays really go for big yardage. And how about those receivers? Not just the glamour of catching passes, but doing some dirty work, too. No doubt. When they get on those guys in the second level and get on those DBs, that's when you break those big, long runs. Finds his target down the middle. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. And there you see the bind that the RPO play can put a defender in. That linebacker had to make a decision. Was the running back going to get the ball? He thought so, so he bit up. And that allowed the slant to be thrown in behind him. And the Buffaloes will hustle to the line. He wants to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Hunter. Touchdown, Bucks! And once he found daylight, it was Katie by the door, baby. This dude is just slicing and dicing this defense into little tiny pieces. Carving him up, completely comfortable, knows exactly what he's getting, had so much success today. You gotta find a way to make these quarterbacks feel more uncomfortable. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. 
And he got that extra point through. No slipping on the snow. It was good. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the final 41 yards covered by that touchdown strike. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision-making. He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quick. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. From the gun, running back gets to give. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking for a man. It's Ward. Quick completion on the out. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football. They play a wide receiver basically for you. But you got to find a guy that you can throw to. And you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. Slips one guy and now he's loose. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective, and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Complete downfield. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Man, what a nice play in the passing game there. We were all in the car driving over here together in the snow, and we were wondering, is anybody going to be able to even complete a pass in these conditions? Well, I guess we just got our answer there. It's not easy, man. As a quarterback, the ball is slippery. And for receivers or anybody running routes, it's hard to get in and out of breaks, but they might have been throwing that ball in Miami. I mean, that looked beautiful and on time. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the passing game. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking for space, it's Fletcher. Knocked down after a gain of one, they'll mark it at the six. ground to cover and not much to defend a big third down in the red zone looking for a man it's Ward he's got it and to the end zone touchdown hurricane gotta start cutting into this lead somewhere now the question will they have enough time but that's step one you, you got to get that first score you got to get back in the ball game and get some of that momentum back on your side you still got more work to do but step one accomplished Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they trail by two touchdowns, 
So it's an 80-yard drive, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. They've got it down to a two-touchdown deficit, trailing by 14 and about to kick it away. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. They'll throw it on first down. Unloads to the wideout. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? Out routes are very much about time. You gotta, it's got to be a quick, decisive movement from the quarterback. As soon as he sticks that foot in the ground, you know he's breaking out. Throw it right now so it will make you play. Great pitch, great catch. And the Buffaloes moving quickly to the line. Wants to throw on first down. Oh, he wants it all. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Second and ten after the previous play. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. Makes his connection. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Now facing a third and long. They want to just keep throwing it. And that one's incomplete. The Buffaloes will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip using the quick game. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. When you get man coverage, you definitely like taking advantage of the inside really quickly. Running a nice slant rack real quick, being physical, getting on the inside, quarterback putting it right on the mark. Completion a little short of the sticks. It's second down. He's looking to throw. He's got an open man. And how about that? What the doctor always ordered, an explosive play to the 40. You get a guy who can do that on the outside and is sort of in the DNA of Miami's program. Yeah, just speed. Those are guys that put fear in you. Those are the track stars. The, the Sunshine State produces so many of them. Those guys can absolutely fly. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires to the wideout. Got his man to the left. Bring in the heat. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Just outstanding execution, continuing to work his way back through the football. Yeah, and everything about this route looks vertical. The comeback, it looks like it's a go. I'm thinking speed, and then he sets it down. QB puts the ball on the money, and he makes the play. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. Gets it out fast. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can, I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And they've really featured this guy today. Pull down after a gain of five. It's at the nine-yard line. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. And that one was way too far for anybody to catch, except ticket holders. 
Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Colorado has the ball back and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Picks up the first down, still moving. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. They've built a cushion. They've got a nice lead. Now the task is finish the deal as you take a look at the third quarter stats. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Hunter. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route really when it's off coverage. But you could tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle for a loss. And the Buffaloes racing to the line in the hurry up. Back to throw, it's Sanders. Got his man in the middle. Snowed under by the defense. He just keeps piling up numbers with completion after completion in this standout performance. And I think some people might say late in the game, you got the win, everything's in hand, be a little bit conservative, or you just say, I'm just going to keep doing me. And what I do with this offense is throw the football all of the yard, and I'm going to try to win me a big trophy at the end of the year. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. <laughs> Fires to the tight end. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. And the Buffaloes have their offense in high gear. They'll go to the ground. <laughs> And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. The play action fake. Throws to the wideout. Got his man. And he'll be run out of bounds, and these guys are piling up some serious yardage totals. Defense just hasn't had an answer for this guy. He has been on point. This is about as good as I've seen him play at the quarterback position, and here in the fourth quarter with the big lead, he's still taking shots. Going to the ground. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Off 
the play fake. Unleashes one deep. This will be picked off. Maybe just the turning point they needed. We still got time. Great job by the defense doing the most important thing, getting the ball back to their offense. Now the offense has to answer the bell, but good job creating the turnover. Now the offense, your turn. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. And generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Martinez on the carry. Picks up a useful five-yard chunk out to the 30-yard line. I think you run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table, everything's available, high success rate. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. To the ground to try to pick up the first. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. Well, the good news is, is you got the first down running it there on second and short, but the bad news is you're down by quite a bit here in the fourth quarter, and two, three, four-yard gains aren't going to get it done. You've got to start chucking this thing vertically to get back in the game. And the Hurricanes will snap it on first and ten. After run, 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 now throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's Restrepo. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. And that's perfect for the defense. You'll give that up all day. You're winning this game by multiple possessions late in the game. Play big zone coverages. Keep the ball in front of you and tackle the ball carrier inbounds. And the Canes are in the hurry up. Dropping back, it's Ward. Zings it complete to the right. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. He's looking to throw it. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And the offense sprung a big-time leak, and the quarterback went down. And when you're throwing the football, you're trying to stop the best athletes in the world from getting to your quarterback. They're going to get there. They're pinning their ears back. Get to the QB. Get the sack. That offense having to deal with the last thing you want on first down, giving up a sack as they come up to the line on second down. Looks as if the defense was a little too eager there, got into the neutral zone, and that'll be a five-yard penalty. Defense a little too eager. That's an encroachment penalty. Five yards for the offense. He's looking for an open man on second down. Got his man in the middle. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Listen, the defense gave up a couple yards, but they're happy to give that up because they know the clock is still ticking. They're trying to bleed this thing. If you want to throw it over the middle of the field inbounds, they'll give that to you all day. On third down, going up top. Feeling some heat. Pressure in his face, and he lets it fly. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. Down by multiple possessions, you can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Looking for space. It's Hayden. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. They've got the ball at midfield, but they're facing a third and long. They'll give it to the back. How about this confidence in the running game? And he picks up nine just short of the marker. It'll be fourth and one. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Offense getting set for first down. He's going to pass. Got it in the middle. It's a roll. Yeah. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. Looking to pass. It's Ward. Looking to the big tight end. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Yeah, and a really good job by the defender understanding the ball's coming. I got to break on it and go and not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down and makes sure that's an incompletion. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. With the catch, it's Martinez. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Well, this offense has a ton of work left ahead of him here in this two-minute situation late in the game, but the drive off to a good start. You get the first down, you get out of bounds, you work in the perimeter of the field. That is exactly what you want to do. The Hurricanes with the first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Getting some heat. What great protection, and he lets it go down the middle. So close to that end zone. He could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. And there's no quit in this team. Obviously, they're trailing late in the game, but they're trying to make it happen. We've seen two big plays now back to back. They're putting pressure on this defense. The Canes come to the line in the hurry up. And they spike it and get the clock stopped. Got stopped on first down. They'll try it again from the two. Looking to throw its war. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. And when you get closer to this area near the red zone and closer inside the five like you are here, it's tough to throw certain routes, right? Like, you need to throw those slants. You need to throw those fades. Get the ball out of the quarterback's hands really, really quickly because you know you're going to get some pressure from that defense. Everybody lined up, quickly snapped and spiked to stop the clock. A fourth quarter field goal down by this much, that's a lot like putting a lipstick on the proverbial pig. Doesn't do much to change the looks. Got to score the touchdown on fourth and goal. Catch in the middle. It's Arroyo. He's not going to get there. Stop short on fourth down. Power football with the run. And this play will be for no gain, and that is going to do it. Final play of the fourth quarter. 